I want to talk to you today about uh, the work that I do uh, about sterile processing education charitable trust. Um, it's the organization uh, that I chair. Uh, it's an organization that is focusing on improving sterile processing uh, education and standards in uh, developing and low income countries. Most of our work is done in West Africa currently. Uh, we'd like to see this, uh, this training go to anybody, uh, anywhere that it is required. Uh, where we started were in, was in Sierra Leone, uh, Guinea, and um, the Republic of the Congo. And it's, we saw the conditions in ho local hospitals in these areas. And the conditions were such that instruments um, were being cleaned with laundry soap and soaked in bleach, uh, degrading the instruments for one, but also uh, the autoclaves that they did have because of poor electricity and dirty water, the autoclaves were not being used. They were being, um, they broke down. And so what happened when they broke down was there was no knowledge as to how to repair them. There was no money to repair them. So what we have focused on was creating um, both education and um, providing cons consultation in terms of what they can do with what they have, um, all giving them the knowledge that they need to improve the situations. One of the, uh, one of the examples of the conditions that we found um, was uh, an area that not only was using the laundry soap and, because the autoclave was broken, but the actual area that was being used to sterilize instruments w had not been cleaned in 20 years. Um, so our educator, uh, Christina, uh, basically went in and said, you know, she took a group of volunteers from uh, the Africa Mercy Ship, who we collaborate with, she took a group of volunteers into that area, and what they did was they cleaned it from top to bottom. And they left the, the workers there with, with three responsibilities. Basically, take out the garbage at the end of the day, um, don't put the instruments on the floor, and wipe down the surfaces at the end of the day. Um, four months later when she came back to see how things were going, she said it was like they had been there the day before. So we knew that education worked. We gave them minimal basic education, right? It's the first step. Um, what we'd like to see is, you know, uh, ongoing education being able to be delivered to these areas and also for them to be supported to advocate for themselves with their own organizations to improve conditions. So that, that's the start. What we'd like to leave with you is we're looking for support. Uh, we can't do this on our own. We can't do this without funding. Um, and so uh, if, you, if you like our idea, please come talk to us. We're Sterile Processing Education Charitable Trust. And I'm Olaf Fast, the chair. <laughs>